Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Christian's Crafty Adventure. So today, I'm giving you an update on my No Paper Left Behind challenge for February. Um, I'm doing um, a dessert table for a baby shower. And I'm using this collection from Cartabella, which is absolutely gorgeous. And um, I just want to show you what I made for gift bags for the baby shower. So I made two versions of the gift bag, this one and this one. So this one is just paper from Joann's, the Basil cardstock paper. And I used a mama elephant die, which is this. This is the die, it was released years ago, but dies are awesome and it's a great investment. So I used, I made this one, and I used a hexagon punch, uh, another punch from Fiskars, and these, these punches, let me show you. Let me find my punch. I can't find the punch right now, sorry. But this is a punch, and that's my favorite punch right here. And I'll put a link down below in Amazon. And this one I found the punch. This is the punch that I got from Tuesday morning. So that is this one. And then the leaf punch is from Hobby Lobby that I got 40% off. I think it's a set of leaves. So those are the punches for that. So that's the first design. And then I'm going to put some goodies in here as giveaway for the party and then this next one is the same punch same paper collection and I thought this would be absolutely super cute on the dessert table don't you think super cute this is another Fiskars, Fiskars punch and I just tied it on here and it's super cute and then for the stamp, I used this 1-2 canoe stamp that I got from Tuesday morning. So those are the two designs. I'm in the process of making more, but I wanted to share with you what um, some updates on my No Paper Left Behind challenge. Um, I have a lot more of the hexagons that I pre-made, so... All I need to do is put together the bags because I've already cut the bags. So I just need to put them together. And then, so I was seeing a lot of these bookshelves. And this is a tutorial from Craft Purge. I'm going to link Tony down below. She's an amazing crafter. I'm sure a lot of you guys follow her already. But I made these. I just used basil cardstock, which is super sturdy. And then I layered it with a paper. Super, super cute. Um, this one is very simple. But I was contemplating, should I put this for the party as well? So I need, what, what do you think your opinion are, guys? Should I put it? Because I made books. And then we're going to decorate the front part of this today. But I made four books. And I was thinking of putting goodies inside, but it was a little bit labor intensive. So I don't know. I'm still thinking of, and then the goodies will be here. And I was thinking of making, if I had time, I'm going to make numerous um, bookshelves. And then the books will be the giveaway. Wouldn't that be cute? Like chocolates in here as a thank you, like a thank you treat for a party. So this is the first book. I'm going to link um, Tony's tutorial down below. So as you can see, it's super cute. Just simply um, decorated with, you know, the embellishments that I already made in the past videos that I made. Super simple, guys. And then this other one. Just some scrap pieces of paper and a flower that I fussy cut. This is my favorite. 
and how pretty I just layered the stickers and then put it on a circle die cut and it's so sturdy and super super beautiful here's the side of that I love the wood grain look and then this one is very layered with my favorite bow so let's get decorating we're gonna decorate this uh, I'm gonna look into my stash let's see what we have in here I know I'm not gonna use these um, I just put all of my stuff in one basket so that they're st they're all organized um, if you want if you have a swap partner you know what you can you're gonna you can put all these embellishments that you want to give them away wouldn't that be so cute and then it's just all loaded with beautiful things wouldn't that be so cute to give away and it all matches with look at that wouldn't that be so cute it all matches with the collection it's gonna be bulky to send but I think it's gonna be super worth it so right now we're trying to figure out how to decorate this one maybe sometime I'm gonna do a live so that I can see what your opinion is on in real time as always I'm always drawn to the coffee cups Let's see. this is cute as well To be super layered it's so pretty I already switched my glue gun on nope that is not the appropriate size I think this simple one would be really really beautiful about that that be cute nope this is it that would be so cute wouldn't it wouldn't that be gorgeous very simple layering and then we can put some honey here put some flowers maybe no that's overkill let me see what we have here. Would that be prettier? So th this is the embellishments that I have left. So this is what I'm rummaging through. They're definitely not a paper clip. I don't think it'd be, it would be appropriate. Maybe on the side would be. Ooh, that would be cute. Wouldn't that be cute on the side? Yes. That'd be super cute. Either this or the other. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I want them to match a little bit. See, these are all from scrap papers like these flowers are all from the paper collection they're so pretty these are all ephemera that are from bits and pieces or we can do these remember the banners can I put it in the back maybe let me see if I put it in the back can you still see it nope you can't see the banners yeah you won't be able to see the banners nope maybe the banners in the front Does that look okay maybe I don't know what do you guys think would that be cute would that be better or this one or that one 
I think definitely this but I feel that this is so absolutely gorgeous look how pretty it's just multiple multiple layers of flowers and the dimension is absolutely amazing would that be cute maybe to add yes that would be gorgeous so let's do that let me put all this stuff away so maybe that and that Maybe it's not gonna fit. Guess it's okay. Guess. I'm gonna switch it right here, yeah. That's gonna give me space. And then switch that, yeah. Right there. Cute. Cute, guys. And this one has dimension. Just gonna put an extra layer. The problem is, these frillies, because it's dimensional, it won't stay flat. No, that's a mistake. That's my mistake. Well, I guess it's still okay. No biggie. It can still stand. But, doesn't this look gorgeous, guys? Here, let me put all these goodies back in my suitcase. Is that so cute? Oh my gosh, I'm so thankful for Tony for making this tutorial, because... These are so inspiring. Some of the ladies even put tassels. Oh my gosh. On their project. Let me switch this around. Because the ribbon is so bulky to be in the middle. Wow. Isn't that cute? I think that's super adorable. Anyway, so that is my decorated bookshelf. And this is what it looks like on the side. I hope you got inspired by this video to use your scrap stash. And always stay crafty. Please like and subscribe my channel down below. This is Christian signing off. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye guys.